Wow, hi YouTube. Welcome to the man cave. This isn't the biggest workshop I've ever had, but uh, still enough space for uh, Roach the mad scientist to uh, come up with a few bits and pieces, repair things, just a little kind of workstation with all my tools, and uh, wouldn't want to be without it. What I want to talk to you today about is emergency power. So in the 60s and 70s when I was growing up, the country was in a uh, bit of a mess just like it is today and um, we had a million young people out of work. Uh, I was one of them and uh, so decided to um, join the army because I couldn't find a job and uh, a lot of people that know me the rest is history. Um, the trade unions were uh, very powerful in the uh, uh, 60s and 70s. Um, the country was pretty much dependent on uh, coal-fired coal power stations and um, the miners had gone on a long strike. So power stations started running out of coal and um, power cuts were commonplace. Um, I think we had power about three or four days a week. So at seven o'clock in the evening um, the power would go off and that was it. But this was the uh, early to mid 70s and um, the home was uh, heated by coal fires. So uh, we uh, had a bit of coal and um, my mum would do a big pot of stew, put it on the coal fire and uh, that's what we ate. Um, the room was warm and um, we lit a few good old fashioned candles and had an early night, went to bed early, that was that. Um, the other thing is we had a few paraffin lamps, I remember a guy used to come around the houses with a van and people would have uh, paraffin uh, heaters in their homes and uh, you would buy it at the door off of a, a guy. I've got a couple of these uh, old paraffin lamps lying around the house. This one belonged to my mother-in-law and it's, it's great. It's always worth uh, having a couple of things like that laying around or putting in your preps cupboard and just forgetting about them because they're great. They do exactly what it says on the tin, you know, they just uh, very, very simple technology and they work, you know, and uh, lighting candles, that'll work for you as well. But if the power goes out, and your system is, get out a couple of uh, paraffin lamps, and light some candles, I'm sure that'll work for you, no problems at all. But um, the world's moved on a bit. I've just come across an emergency power solution it's called Solar to Africa and it's a um, box of technology about the size of a briefcase and that's my emergency fallback position that's what I'm going to be uh, powering my house with recharging all of my uh, essential devices and getting us through a um, short to medium term power out and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share it with you Okay, so it's just a black box, about as big as a briefcase. Not the most interesting thing in the world to look at. It's a kind of armoured plastic, quite uh, robust. It's got a few warning lights on the front here. We've got a battery check button, so we can see uh, where it is in its uh, charge. And it goes from 25, 50, 75 and 100%. We've got an on-off, just to kind of save uh, power. We've got a USB out, so we can all charge our mobile phones and our uh, cameras, laptops. In here, we've got a uh, sealed um, lead acid battery, and um, it's an 18 amp hour battery. It's a small LED on the front of the uh, um, Solar to Africa. It's a six LED light, it's pretty bright. There's an on-off switch on the back, so the last thing when you go to get this device, you want to be uh, searching around for a torch. There's a light built into it for you. 
on the back we've got a 12 volt cigarette lighter out we've got inverter on and then some warning lights battery low load in excess of 80% of the capacity and then we've got a couple of charging lights you can actually charge this unit off of the mains just on a 13 amp plug comes with its own charger but that's not what this device is about this device is designed and built to be charged with the solar panel that comes with it and then inverter on and off and the LED light that's on the other side of the device so as I said, it's a six LED light, it's pretty bright. The other thing I like about this unit is that these ends slide down and you've got storage spaces. Now here we've got a 13 amp plug, but it's also a sort of international universal. And uh, it will take two and three pin round plugs. It will take the standard UK 13 amp plug. It's a uh, great power out. And this is just big enough to get leads and uh, accessories in. There's a little packet of fuses in the bottom that came with the unit. Same on the other end. Here we've got really more about the sort of crux of the unit. This cable plugs into a 36 amp hour um, battery unit which in turn can plug into another one so total power is going to be 36 amp hours times 2 which is 72 and 18 for the battery that's in this unit so that takes you up to 90 amp hours got a couple of fuses here for the unit itself we've got the cooling fan for the inverter and we've got the cable in for the solar panel that's uh, going to charge it. Within the box is pretty much everything that you need. So there's a 400 watt inverter. There's an 18 amp hour battery. You've got all the appropriate safety systems and uh, fusing. As I said, this 120 watt solar panel doesn't have a charge controller on the back of the solar panel. It's built into the Solar to Africa 400. So a solar panel elevated and facing the sun will collect 25% more energy than if it was laying flat on the ground. This one comes with its own prop on the back but that's our 120 watt solar panel standard with the Solar to Africa. But in effect, it comes pre-wired with inline fuses. So if any of these units blow instantly, you know there are two fuses on the end of the uh, control unit. I really love these sliding drawers that allow you to uh, keep your wires, connections and cables safe and dry. That's the LED light that I was telling you about. Six LED light. That's really nice and bright. Just pressing the battery check coming up as a hundred percent charged any household appliance I've had the uh, TV and the entertainment system plugged into it and it uh, powered the whole thing up no problems at all so comes with its own LED lighting system it comes with three 30 LED lighting strips on five meter okay, so here's one of the uh, uh, 30 cable. LED light light strips that uh, come with the uh, Solar to Africa 400. They have their own uh, inline switch. They plug into a uh, junction box. Up there I've rigged up two of them, so that's what uh, uh, 60 LED power looks like. So for an off-the-grid power solution for our laptops, for our phones, for charging our uh, torches and lanterns, for emergency lighting, in a medium to long term power out or if you've got a retreat or a bug out location that you are looking to light and power this little unit is something that should be on your radar 
If you're interested in acquiring one, just search Solar to Africa 400. Or failing that, you can contact a company called Caravan Leisure Technology here in the UK. I was very fortunate to lay my hands on this one. This was only one of two units in the country when I uh, managed to obtain it, although there are quite a lot more on their way. But I think, as an emergency power solution for an off-the-grid situation, this is going to get me out of trouble very nicely. As always, YouTube, any comments? Love to hear them. Back soon.